Eric, congratulations on getting a chance to represent Canada once again. I know you've had several experiences already. When you think of your international hockey background at uh, such a young age, what stands out? I mean, there's been so many great memories for myself. I mean, especially winning a World Junior Gold Medal. That was something that was really special for me, and that's uh, always taken a good place in my heart there. Well, when you talk about uh, World Junior Gold Medal, I think of the chance to play with uh, Josh Morrissey on that occasion, a guy who's kind of crossed paths with you on a regular basis along the way, and here once again with this team. Oh, for sure. I mean, we play together, I think, just at every level. U17, U18, U20, AHL, NHL, and now World Championships. I mean, it's been great to have that friendship, and he's an excellent player, and we're uh, really happy to share that common bond between each other. You know, you talked about uh, how valuable it was for you to get a chance to play an NHL game this season. What do you think it does to get a chance to be part of Canada's senior team in terms of your development? I mean, that's pretty exciting. I mean, for myself, I'm just really happy to go there and just soak as much knowledge as I can up. I mean, go there, practice games, doesn't matter what happens to me, I'm just going to go there and enjoy every single minute and really enjoy the tournament. I know you're leaving tomorrow, heading over to Switzerland for the pre-tournament camp. And how important will it be for you to have that camp and get a chance to get acclimatized? I think it's going to be important for everyone. I mean, we haven't been skating as much or as hard uh, after the season. I've been trying to get here and there a little bit of ice time with my goalie coaches just to refine some movement and some technical stuff before I leave. But, I mean, it's really important to get those good shots and uh, get back up to game speed when we uh, go there for camp. Is there an adjustment for you playing on an international size ice surface? I don't know. I guess we'll see. I mean, I've done it before and it really hasn't been too much of a difference, but... A lot of guys talk about it being a little bit different angles and some of that, so I'm just going to go there and adjust as needed. At this stage, uh, Cal Pickard is the other goaltender on the roster. It's a guy that you know a little bit. Tell us about your background and how important it is for you to have somebody there you know. Oh, for sure. I mean, it's really important for me to have someone. I know he's such a great guy. He's going to be a great guy to have with me. I mean, he knows so much about the game. He's uh, played a couple years in the National Hockey League now. I mean, he's a Winnipeg guy. Just a really, really friendly human being, hardworking guy. It's going to be really exciting to have that uh, relationship there. What does it mean in terms of uh, being a, a part of another Hockey Canada program? What is it that Hockey Canada brings to these situations that players appreciate so much? I mean, it's just uh, when you're representing your country, it's representing something more than yourself, representing more than just your team. I mean, you go in there and represent your whole country, your friends, your family, everything. You go out there and just you play for them and they do such a great job of hosting you and taking great care of you. I mean, Hockey Canada is I think one of the number one things in the world to play for, and they just take great care of their players and just uh, to the best of their abilities. I'll leave a final thought to you. Anything on your mind as you look forward to the experience? Uh, nothing really. Just going to go there and really enjoy it and soak up as much as I can and just uh, have fun putting that cannon jersey on again. It's just something I love doing, and um, every time I get to do it, I just look forward to it. Thanks for the time. Awesome. Thank you.